Welcome to Empire Brothers Rampant, and welcome back to my Archeon campaign for Warhammer 3, where we're going to continue we left off from last time. We're right now, Archeon's still trying to catch them all, where I'm just about to be making my way over to Nagarond. He's going to be focusing on that while we leave uh, Village and uh, Arche uh, Kolek to do other things for us. So right now, Archeon did decide to make sure I rename some of your other units. Now, I have the Doom Stars here. I also have De Clo uh, Death Clock Groupies. And then uh, we also have the Don't Stop Us Now. I'm going to have a lot of Queen references for some of the names, because so that was, there was quite a few that were suggested for that. So if you guys have any other names, just don't feel uh, feel free to keep leaving them down below in the comments. I always love seeing what people come up with. Uh, but yeah, we're going to basically have it so the village, your goal, you're going to stay around here, keep trying to finish off the northern provinces. Basically, you'll finish them off next turn after you get some replenishment and some more movement. Uh, we're currently having this with a Kolek. You're trying to go deal with Boris, which you're on your way up and around over here to try and get to him. You're almost there. And actually, a really good idea was brought up where... Um, I do need to make sure that I actually start getting, so first we're going to go over to you guys, Outpost. So I'm going to make sure we get an Outpost for the Beastmen, because some of the Beastmen units will actually not be a bad idea to put into Colex army, and I really like that. Also, um, let me see, just let me double check the units that I got from, yeah, I'll have to double check that later. Um, but I know like the basic uh, Archers, those should be a really good way to get some basic free upkeep units and uh, that are ranged for us. Because we don't have Archers, uh, none of us do. So that wouldn't be bad to have in there. So we've got that, then we've got a bunch of other things that we need to keep building up. I do want to check and see whether or not I can give over these cities over here to my vassals right now. I know we're going to be trying to subjugate... Um, We'll cure Felhart at some point. For right now, though, he is bordering me, and I don't want him to take that shit. So it'd be you Your guys. Will. You're the ones that I can Always maybe give this land to. Let's see. So technically, it would be the city of... I am not able to give that city. Okay, I thought so. You guys technically don't border it, so that's why I'm not able to give it over to you guys. I know... Let's see, because right now they control that. I'd have to, like, take this stuff here and then kind of give it over to them at some point. But for right now, I'll actually have to hold this land. It doesn't matter too much if I lose it, though. That's okay, at least. Uh, you guys over here, again, so this is the Withering Fortress. This area, I do want to make sure you have the maxed out garrison. Definitely grab that. And then let's keep upgrading you. And this just keeps giving just more growth and replenishment. Yes, it does. It sounds important for us to get it maxed out, though. Although, having 10% would not be bad. I do need to make sure that you guys, though... Once I have the money, I need to start getting uh, this. Because I want to start having it so that while we have Kolik making his way over here, he'll eventually be able to recruit some more Dragon Ogre Shaga, uh, Dragon Ogres around here for his army. Because if we don't fill it with um, Beastmen, I'll fill it up with those guys. And another one, you are just making your way forward. At least I know Boris's army is not that crazy. And seeing as how I know what Kolik has in his force, and it's always really good. It has a lot of... The Dragon Ogres all have bonus versus large. Which his only his units that are decent are his large entities. So we should slaughter that army with Colex Force. Deathmaster, I don't give a shit whatsoever about you. Essentially, this is like an unofficial total like this is total war campaign, essentially. I'm not declared war on everybody as soon as I meet them, but I'm not trying to work with anybody. And uh, I really do kind of have a, a lot of fun playing around that mentality, not worrying about trying to ally with people, because I don't need to with the Chaos Warriors, because it's just, hey, I want to subjugate everybody. Let's go back over to Kolek here. So Kolek does not have enough movement right now, uh, but we are close enough now. I need to move up normally. So keep making my way up, and then I should be able to hit the Dragon's Death next turn, as long as they don't move. Because, yeah, for the most part, again, like, he's got a couple Kosars, the Streltsy, the Zargard, then he's got his War Bear Riders. His War Bear Riders should give it fucked by my uh, Dragon Ogres that we've got around here. Are there any others around here at the moment? No. So let me just grab another random troll for right now to make your army full. Um, that will be good for you. Village now here. So let's have you finish these guys off. And the way we'll do this is, yeah, attack the army that is outside right now. And I'll actually want to fight this myself with you. Oh, unless they're just going to run like bitches. And they are now outside of range. Okay, well, let's see. Uh, I'm going to fight this because I want to make sure I can focus some good uh, experience onto those cab units. Seeing as how I should have kept them as they were. Because if I would have switched them over to the Chaos Marauders of Zinch first, it would have been easier to turn them into the Knights of Zinch. Uh, but now we have to get these guys ranked up, turn them into knights, then turn them into the knights of Zinch. So, let's just focus these guys down. Because we need to make sure I... I need to get a good feel for Village's army and see what it can and cannot handle. This should be a slaughter. 
Um, but I just want to make sure that we're keeping track of that. Because I know we have one of his quest battles is available. And so we will have to do that with Village at some point soon. Also, we got to give my boy Village some love. We've given Kolek some love, where we go in and showcase his fights every once in a while. But we haven't done that with Village right now. So let's do that here. I know this army shouldn't be too bad. I've got quite a few uh, nice elites in here. I do need to be careful about the Flamers. They are low health. Uh, we need to be careful about that. But what we can do is uh, Village. Let's see. I'll have you... You two kind of be grouped together, and then um, I'll have it so... Marauders... Actually, I think the way they have them set up, besides just the Cav, I need to adjust. So, like, the Cav, I will have to adjust. Like, you guys group up in your own group, and then have it so I can have you just kind of watch over everybody else. But, let's get you guys there. But, you know, for the most part, the way the Flamers are set up, I think, is fine. Uh, I've got one of you over here, one of you in the middle. I think that's fine. Start the battle, start the deployment. And then let's move on in with my forces. Need to kind of showcase like what these guys actually look like. Since I haven't shown what a lot of these guys look like. The army that Zinj has. We have the Zillit village. Very different from Archeon's force, but I do appreciate it. Slowly but surely, we'll turn into an army of mortals dedicated to Zinj. Yeah, here's, uh, here's village himself, the big boy. Him and his brother. And then you guys, let's see. So you guys do have a range attack, do you not? You're not throwing anything, though. You're just taking shots. Okay, let's have you guys kind of go off to the side then for now. Go off to the side. Uh, kind of go off over here to the side a little bit. You guys can kind of move up a little bit more. Doom Knights just go straight for those peasant archers. My other knights, I'll have you guys kind of go around as well. Uh, let's see. Let's get all of my skirmishers in range. So you guys can start trying to unload on things. Right there and right there. Marauders, hold forward. And then we do need to make sure we bring Village up here. I do remember, so your ability, one of your unique abilities that you have is, um... You do give the replenishment for people around you, but also you have your thing that I think it was... I just looked over it. Where was it? Yeah, that one. So, intensity increases time spent in melee or casting spells. So, let's have you be in melee there. Try and support. And have it so that you just want to try and cast things around you to keep giving those boosts. So, everybody keep going into the Peasant Ashes here. You guys can kind of get a little bit over and try to make sure you're going to actually get some experience. We don't want to forget about that. And then Village and Mela here. I always have loved the particle effects for Zinch. It looks so badass. Especially with uh, Village here just being in Mela with everybody else, making sure that he keeps replenishing the bears. I do love that. It's not even, like, related to casting. It's just, hey, you're near me, you're going to get more barriers back. So we can keep doing that. Um, don't have other spells back yet. We can maybe throw some other things out. Actually, no. This works right here. Because I do want to try and have it so... Uh, you guys... I'm trying to specifically get you guys some experience. That's specifically what I'm trying to do here. So, like, you guys maybe... Uh, it might take you a while to run all the way around. But you're the ones I'm trying to farm XP on right now. Because everybody else is fine. But right now, I don't need to specifically focus them down. Although, actually, like, you're about to be able to be a Chaos Warrior soon, too. By putting you guys in melee like this. And I think these guys will, yeah, break off that charge right there. Beautiful. Everybody else giving up just yet? No, uh, skirmishers are still doing well. Get you guys kind of run on into melee there with them. Same with you guys. Village and my other marauders start making their way forward. Skirmishers dead. Chaos Knights and the Doom Knights keep just running them down there. As now it's just, uh, these two units here. There, that's all that remains. And, uh, they're not gonna last very long. Yeah, so Village's army isn't the worst right now, I'd say. I do need to start having so some of his infantry are switched over to the Chaos Warriors. Um, and these Marauder Cav units, I definitely need to level them up as quickly as possible. Because the uh, the Pink Horrors can do some decent bit of damage. There wasn't a ton there, so they didn't get to do a lot of fighting. Actually, the number of just strip kills was actually primarily a good chunk of my Marauders. And my Cav, obviously, you guys are the most elite units I have in here right now. Village himself right now, um, once it stops glitching, I can see what he did for damage. So he's starting to do well. I think I want to have it so that once we get... I have to actually look at the army again that is for his quest battle. Um, I want to have at least maybe half of his Marauders switched over to Chaos Warriors. And I'd like to switch these guys into Chaos Knights, but that might take a while for that specifically. But we can have it so... Ah, uh, do I want to subjugate you guys? This would make it, like, easy mode. Just literally subjugate everybody. I, I kind of personally like the idea of 
burning all forces of order and subjugating all disorder. Like, that I really like. So, it would benefit me more because every, everybody that's vassalized does increase the amount of souls I get and my research rate. But I, I kind of personally just, just sack it. Sack the region and then take it. What we I, I really only like us uh, subjugating air forces that are of disorder. I personally find that more interesting. Um, but you guys here, let's see. So you can switch into Chaos Warriors now. So let's have you guys at the moment just go into the basic shield variant. And I think uh, yeah, you two as well can also switch over to the shield variant as well. These guys need one more rank. And for you guys again, because I need to get you to Chaos Knights. You need to get to rank 6 before I can switch you over to the Knight variant of Zinch. Because otherwise, I'd have to make you just normal Marauders. And you're already a stronger unit, so I think it'll be better just to have you guys sit as you are there. So I think that's fine. Um, rank up, though. This is for my uh, caster in his army. Let's have you get... Um, let's get scouting. Because technically, I'm going to have Village be the caster primarily in his army. So he gets more of the intent. Well, no, I want him to be more of a better path uh, melee fighter. So he'll kind of keep us boosting that up. He'll have some good casting, I would say, but still. Max out more of his um, melee there. Uh, you guys keep getting me more of the money stuff. And I don't have the garrison building here just yet, so let's grab that. You guys, I don't think I'm going to build anything. Now we can hold off on that for right now. Do have a commandment for this region, which I guess generically just grabbed that stuff. I will eventually be trying to sell this land off to my allies. But just go with the one that gives me more chaos undivided corruption. And then going back over. Yeah, Lokir Felhart. I kind of don't want to just leave you alone here. Also, I don't have your trait yet. But also, I want to get you over this way. Yeah, you guys can take uh, Bichai. That's fine. Um, I need to have it so... Oh, I don't have enough movement this turn. Can I still act interact with this while Force March? I think I can. Because I really need to get over to Nagarond. So yeah, let's set sail. That'll bring us all the way down over to... Uh, way over to the west. Bring us all the way over here. Then we'll just have to use the uh, one... Because yeah, I'll bring us around like somewhere around here. Then Yeah, here it is. So right here, we'll have to sail up, use the one here. And that'll bring me right next to Nagarond. So we can just go burn down Nagarond. Then I need to find Valky up here somewhere. Where the fuck she is. I have no idea where she is at the moment. How she's even doing. I gotta say, I'm actually surprised at how much credit it's giving them. I don't know if they have this good of an odds. I don't really see it. Not specifically. Not with like, okay, my Marauders are gonna do nothing. But for the most part, like these guys, I'm gonna destroy all their cap. All their cap units cannot do anything against my Dragon Ogres. But here we go, Boris. Boris versus Call. He definitely does have quite a few levels on me. He's like level 20 something, and I'm only level 14 with Kolik here. But I don't think this is that bad. Basically, what I'll be doing is um, the Mana Cores, you're going to be going after the Skirmishers. You're going to try and distract the Streltsy and the Kosars. I'll have it so we focus down hard on their cavalry. I'll have my Marauders try and fight their infantry. Like, hey, distract them so I can get all my Dragon Ogres into position. And then Kolek is a really disgusting melee fighter himself. Technically, because of the level difference, that could mean that Boris will actually do pretty good against me. But I don't know, actually. I'm not sure about that. But let's have it so. Kolek, you're in your own little group. Mara uh, the Manticore's in another. All of the Dragon Ogres in one. And Marauders and Trolls. So, at the moment, what we want to do is Kolek in the middle. Have it so my Manticore is kind of off to the side. You need to focus first down the Streltsy and then just basic Archers. Marauders, just kind of chill here. I'll actually put you into two little groups of uh, Dragon Ogres. So, like, some on this side, some on this side. You're trying to basically flank. Trolls, you're trying to provide support to my infantry. And then Cole, like, kind of just chill here as you're supposed to be giving support to the main line. So, at the moment, I see, like, uh, those are some Kosars over there. Bill War Bear Riders, Winged Lancers. So, uh, Kosars were the Streltsy. Kosars, 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 Zargard, Zargard, Kosars. Where the fuck is the Streltsy? I don't see them right now. So let's just kind of move my forces forward. Let's get you guys up on in here. Because I know, like, you guys over here, you're going to be immediately rushing into these War Bear Riders. Because you guys have anti large. Hit those Kosars too. Do they have anti large? I don't remember them having anti large. They do have anti large. I also have anti large. 
Okay, so it's kind of comparable. So let's just focus two units onto one. Just to make sure we have the advantage there. You guys then kind of keep trying to run on in there. Marauders just rush on in immediately. Rush on in forward. Let's see, Kosars, those are the horse archers there. All of you guys go try and hit. Yeah, just try and hit those Kosars right there. You guys try and run on forward as well. You guys go for the cab units. And then make sure everybody doesn't have guard mode on, because I actually need you to kind of chase things. You guys need to actually run into melee with them. Let's see, trolls as well. Kind of push forward into the enemy army. Okay, Kolak, you need to focus on trying to deal with Boris there. Yeah, if you guys get some free shots in on me, that can actually do quite a bit. But no, you guys, yeah, look at that. The Wing Lancers got fucked. They absolutely got wrecked right there. But, once I'm in melee with you guys, yeah, there we go. Like, you're stopping the Kosaras there. You guys keep trying to get into those. Yeah, there's the Streltsy. That's why you're taking so much damage. So, focus down the Streltsy. Don't let them do their thing. It's like, that's doing okay. I need to stop these guys in the back a little bit more. Like, yeah, you keep focusing on the Divershites. This unit is about to... It's unbreakable, certainly, at the moment. So, just kind of ignore them. We can kind of focus on these guys instead. Yeah, Marauders are running. That's kind of be expected. War Bear Riders are getting slaughtered here. Not surprised by that, because, hey, we both have anti-large, but I've got two units here, so you guys are doing well. My morale is not doing the best, actually, fighting against Boris. That I don't like to see. So he's going to get back over there. Marauders taking some damage. That's where we're kind of expecting that. Um, let's have you try and get some damage on top of those guys. You might have wanted to save that for the Zargar, but that's fine. Boris himself, yeah, you've almost fucked him up. Boris versus Kolek. It's a fight for the ages, and uh, I'm pretty sure Kolik is going to win that fight. Yeah, he is already dead. Yeah, one more hit from Kolik, and you're dead. And there we go. So now Boris has now been wounded at this point in time. A little worried about you guys. You're fighting over here, but without Boris to lead the charge. I think for the most part, you guys are going to start losing here. It's just at the moment, yeah, my morale is dropping way faster than I was expecting against them. Which is just interesting. Yeah, not exactly how I was expecting that battle to go, because Kolek's leadership was struggling that entire fight. But, we were able to defeat them. Not too bad. We took a little bit of damage, but I don't think we lost any units. No, we didn't lose any units. Almost got pretty close with some of my uh, Dragon Ogres, where they got pretty low. But, literally, it was only their armored units that kind of actually did some good damage. The, uh, let's see, the War Bear Riders did a, okay, a decent chunk of damage. Not a ton. Wing Lancers actually did quite a bit. And then the Streltsy, I know you did quite a bit to one of my Dragon Ogres. I think those six kills are literally on this guy, the one that almost that struggled the most. But no, my Anti-Large did really well against your Warbear Riders, and now you have none of those guys. Those are one of the, your elite units that you buff. And now you don't have any more of them. So Cole, I can just keep kind of pushing through here now with uh, Boris defeated here. Oh yeah, that's a huge chunk of damage to him. Um, let's just grab the Experience. Grab the experience because I want to be able to maybe kind of train some of those guys up to replace them into something else. Uh, just take the, uh, it's only the garrison dies. Garrison dies, uh, take the experience there so that we can keep trying to bolster those cab units. But that is now the northern provinces are now defeated. Now I'm going to have it so that village, let's see, army in here. I think that army of village would actually struggle with. Um, are there actually walls here? If there are, I might try and defend it. Oh, they're done. No, they're not. They're just take, they're just take the city then. So yeah, you guys can push on in there a little bit. I'll try and bring Village back down around that way. Although I do kind of want to get his quest battle before we do that. Because at the moment, the only area I can be attacked in Cathay is around where I attacked um, Felhart. So he's the only one that could actually matter. Because like I think that burned area to my west. I think that's Deathmaster. I don't believe that is an actual ruin. I can double check if it has Skaven Corruption. If it does, then it probably is for sure. Um... I like that. Uh, leadership, that's it's weird for me. More leadership when fighting against Chaos Warriors. So when I'm in, when there's infighting, I'll have better leadership right now with you. Which isn't the worst, it's just kind of uh, interesting for Kolek to have that. Also, Kolek only has his one quest item, correct? If I'm correctly, yes, he only has the one quest item. Okay, but level up here. Let's see, I want to get you... Um, I, I want to get you your yellow personal line finished up. Let's have you get more tough skin. And then, um, let's see, Village has some rank ups. He's already maxed out this stuff. Let's have you keep maxing out yourself. 
So I want to have you max out your yellow line a little bit. Although we could go... Oh no, we never need to do more of your blue line. Yeah, do more of your blue line there. Your hero is already got maxed out in training. Let's have you get some more armor. Caster. Let's have you now upgrade um, the pink fire of Zinch. Because that'll be the be one of the best early game uh, AoE spells until we get to the Infernal Gateway and everything for you guys. So keep doing that. And then let's see. So Cole, let's have you finish the job on this army. This should be pretty simple for you guys. Finish those off, those remnants off. And then I'll have you... Uh, it only lasts for one turn, so yeah, just keep spamming that out. Because we'll be fine for replenishment. And there we go. So now, keep pushing in. And again, I just need to keep checking every once in a while to see if more Dragon Ogres have spawned. Because I want to fill this army up with all... Uh, oh yeah, just give to my Vassal. This is a region that didn't matter. Um, I do care about the Floating Mountain. So that area I do care about. So this one I'll just give to my vassal, but then you just keep making your way up here. Floating Mountain we will take, because that has the resource on it. Um, let's get Giant Killer, and then next level up I can have you get the uh, Demonic Trait, so you'll actually have some more physical resistance from that. So you can keep trying to do that. I don't think there's any more Dragon Ogres around here. No. Not at the moment, sadly. Yeah, none over here either. Damn. We are getting to the point, though, okay, I can at least grab this. And uh, we just need to get you to rank 5 or tier 5. Then I can have it so you're able to grab Dragon Ogres from around here. Village now. Um, again, this area, I think you're fine. I, I think we're going to try and bring you down over here. I'm going to try and see if you can deal with... Um, I think you can probably maybe win against him. Let's see. Because usually kind of gives me a rough idea of the balance of power between the armies if I hover over. I can't see it right now, but... Let's, let's try it out. Let's see how you can do, man. You've got a pretty okay army here. Uh, I think... I need just you guys to be a bit more ranked up, and I think we might be okay. But that should be good there. You guys are not going to build that stuff there. And it should be, uh, I think, one more turn for... Yeah, one more turn for Archeon. Okay, Archeon has arrived! Okay, so now we need to do with Archeon. You need to sail all the way up here. I know there's another sea lane around here. Kind of go over more to the right. Because then you won't take as much attrition, but that's fine. So next turn, you'll be able to interact with that one. Then it'll be another two turns. So about three turns from now, you will then finally be in this bay. So we can send you straight to Negaron. So you can try and make your way over there. I do think uh, we will want to switch these guys back over to the shield variant. Since we're going to be fighting against um, forces of Dark Elves, who do have a lot of range damage. So switch you guys over to the shield variant of the Chosen and of the Normal Chaos Warriors. So do that. And then let's see, so back over here. You're not my hero. I need to make sure that I'm remembering that I'm gonna be using you as a hero to try and have you actually help out. Let's see, village. Let's see, I can just move you normally. Although actually, no, I'll go up in channeling stance to make sure you have as much magic as possible by the time we get over here. So you keep making your way over there. Um, military presence, so, so they're still in that city there. And then let's see, Blood of the Blood God. So he's currently standing right there, and I'll get some money if I defeat him. Eh, not bad. Not bad. I wonder if I would want to maybe try... Uh, well, actually, what is in this quest battle? I probably shouldn't do it right now, because this would be probably pretty dangerous. Um, Empire, a bunch of Empire stuff. I think we would need to wait a little bit longer, just to get his army a little bit stronger. I'd have to make sure for that fight we'd switch you guys to the Halberd variant, though, if I'm going to do that. But I'd prefer if I can just get these guys to switch it over before we do that. Okay, Lokirfellar is attacking me. Since he's so close to village, I actually think I do want to try and fight this. Simply because, looking at the terrain, technically, I can try and turn this into a nice kind of funnel and uh, choke point right around down here and try and see if we can get some good damage. I might be able to do more than the auto resolve thinks I can, and this will just make it so that I can at least make sure that village will have the best chance he has around here. Because this army in general... So the Spears are not too much of a worry for Village. The Sisters of Slaughter, um, if I remember correctly, they don't have a lot of armor. So against the uh, Pink Horrors, they'll be fine. Uh, the Chariots could be annoying. I know that I can easily deal with the Bolt Thrower. That I can easily deal with by just sending over my Doom Knights to fly at it. The Shades are the biggest problem. I would love if we could do some good damage to the Shades. Probably I'll have it so my Chaos, uh, my, uh, my Mounted Marauders and my Chaos Hounds... You guys will... Let's see in a moment. Okay, so not bad. Technically, they don't have enough range, I don't think. Actually, if they just stood up here... Oh, no, they can't. They can't... They, the closest they can stand is, like, right there. Yeah, I think we're... Let's see. 
Yeah, I don't think they can have the elevation from this area to shoot me. Especially not around here. So, like, this is the closest they could get. Uh, not sure about that. But I want to try and funnel them the best I can. And I know I can stand down here. Oh, can I not? Oh, it's just because of this. Okay, so we've just spawned here. So, go around here. I'll have uh, you guys grouped up. And then I'll have my skirmishers and my... my, my um, Cab units, I'm going to have you guys try and see if I can get a good kill, maybe in the form of the bolt throwers or something else that's a little bit weaker, so you guys can kind of just like hide in these trees over back here. Start the deployment. Have it to you guys then, again, I think around here is the best spot. Because I don't think they can have the angle if they stand here to shoot me. So we'll kind of stand back here. My Chaos Warriors in the back, kind of want them to funnel themselves through and focus down with the uh, Chaos Warriors and the Marauders. Well, Marauders first. So, one of the chariots just found me immediately. Uh, not exactly what I wanted. Uh, did some damage to them. I was not able to take out... Well, eh, no, it was just my own guys. I was hoping I could maybe take out one of the chariots. Also, uh, Lokir Felhart's mounted on a dragon. Uh, that's not exactly what I wanted. I was hoping he didn't have his mount just yet. But no, because you guys are just chilling right up there right now. You guys are trying. I might be able to kill one of the chariots. Maybe. Uh, it's all up to the Chaos Hounds right now, and you're actually doing some pretty decent damage. It's more so whether or not you guys are going to break with your leadership first. Because right now, at least, you guys are doing some good damage to them. I think, oh yeah, there goes one. Two, yeah! Okay, so you at least took out two of them. Yeah, there's just one more chariot left. Holy shit. No, sorry, two. Two more chariots. So if you can take out the this chariot unit, that's actually pretty nice. Okay, we were able to take out one of those chariots. At the moment now, they're just trying to unload on me, which I don't appreciate. I'm going to try and run up a little bit more. At least get into a better angle so that the bolt thrower can't shoot me. I don't think they'll let me get up to you guys to be able to actually hit these chariots. But it's worth a shot. Because right now, they're doing quite a bit of damage. Oh, that's nice. I didn't realize holding space does this while I'm in cinematic mode. Oh, I can actually command things while they're like this now. Ooh. Yeah, try and kill the chariots. Because if we can take out the chariots, that's actually pretty good for us. Yeah, my Chaos Warriors are the only ones holding. The Marauders have all broken. And yep, they just all gave up now at that point. But, hey, you guys did some damage. I was able to for sure kill one chariot. I almost took out the other one. They did a good amount of damage, but then it just ran away with all of its models. So, I think that's not bad. Like, honestly, I, I guaranteed one chariot died. And I know the auto resolve would not have done that. So, that's something. Um, this army's slightly weakened now, and uh, we'll get to see, ideally, what I'd hope to do is village, I think, is just within range of the city. So I think I might try and have him starve them out a little bit and see if they'll try and sally out against him. Because uh, I know there's not going to be any defenses, but if I can get a little bit more damage on this army, especially village, uh, Lokir Felhart primarily. Lokir Felhart being on a dragon makes him a far bigger target and worry. Um, for a fight against him than before. I, I at least do have, uh, there's like the uh, the two basic spells for Zinj, the, uh, the bolt one. That one's actually not bad against him. I could put that, uh, I can make sure I focus that on single targets onto him. I do wonder, oh, I'm not gonna be able to do that really though in this campaign, because I think they only get those bound spells if uh, you are playing as Zinj specifically. Because I know uh, there's a, the, the doom stack you can make as Kairos is fucking hilarious and I love it. But, you know, you guys here. Um, I'm hoping I can keep channeling stance. He didn't recruit another unit. And those guys have no health. So, let's just try and seize this. Actually, I can just take the fight right now. I can just take this. Actually, that means if you guys are going to want... Nah, just fuck it. Just take him out. That's an easy win for a village, I guess, there. You can take him out. Weaken him. You're going to have to fight him again later on. Um, so, we'll have to have it. So, just take that free win there right now. Get some more experience for my units. You guys, I think, can switch into... Yes, you can. So, uh, these two can now switch into Chaos Warriors as well. Then, um, let's see. Now we're just waiting on you guys to get... Because, again, you need to get to rank 6. Yeah, rank 6. Then you'll be able to upgrade to Knights. Village, though. Let's have you, again, keep focusing up your blue line for right now. Um, then probably just get the, uh, the rating. Yeah, let's see if you get the rating stuff first. And then, uh, the heroes. You want to get Foe Seeker. You want to improve, um, upgrade to the Pink Fire. And then I'll probably be having you try and get... Because these are far better single target spells. Uh, sorry, not single target. AoE spells. 
than the uh, pink fire zinch. Because this doesn't have an armor piercing component. No, it doesn't. And it does have fire and magical attacks. But I would appreciate if it had a little bit of armor piercing. Let's see. Colock now, though. Uh, you can very easily now reclaim the floating mountain. Although, I'd probably prefer if you can. Just take this army out first. Because, honestly, why not? I don't have enough movement for it. But, they're going to be taking another turn of attrition. I'll just turn back around and deal with the floating mountain next turn. Uh, going back over then to Archeon. So, Archeon now. Let's see, because where is it again? Uh, there it is. So, there it is. I thought it was a little bit lower. Um, let's set sail. So, two turns, and then we will be up north. Although, technically, if I really wanted to, I could just start from down here. But I'd rather make my way all the way up here and just go hit Nagaron like it's my first base of operations. And then from there, spread out and figure out where the fuck Valky is. Also, this is going up nicely. And also, research-wise, I'm about to finish some more research next turn. That'll give me one gift for Zinch I'll be able to do then. Which, that's going to be interesting. Because I'm curious what I can get access for Zinch. Because I know I really like these two for Nurgle. They're a punishment in foreign territory and the growth per region uh, in regions after winning the battle. Like, that's that. those are perfect. I'm, I'm never going to change those ever. Oh, hello, Lokir. Uh, do you want something? Peace treaty for money. Hmm. Hmm. No. I'm, I'm not giving you a peace treaty. There's no way in hell. I'm subjugating you. I'm going to vassalize your ass at this point. If you're that willing to give me peace then, that means that I absolutely destroyed your military. Like, he probably can't recruit really good units right now at this point. And the sooner I take out Lokir Felhart, the better. Because I know how powerful he can get late game. So, let's just keep putting the pressure on him with Village. Because Village right now. Um, first and foremost, though, actually. So, let's see. So, what can I get for gifts for Zinch? So, I can get reduced cooldown for all spells and more barrier hit points. Higher base mischance. Miscast chance. Enables warp fly flame attacks for all the units of the Mark of Zinch. Ooh. I like that. Let's see that one. No, I don't care too much about that. That just allows the gifted units. So. Technically, I should just never overcast, but having more barrier for all my units? I don't mind that. Otherwise, oh my god, I could just add the summon from beyond faction his army. More pink horrors are not a bad thing, though. I do like this one, but I can't do that one just yet. Ammunition for armies led by Zinch devoted characters. Eh, that wouldn't be bad either. I, I think let's go with this one. More because this will affect all my armies. Reduces the cooldown on all my armies. I don't have to upcast, just have it so we just do normal casts. And then uh, more barrier. That makes it so. All the armies in Village are stronger. That makes it so Archaeon is stronger. I, I'd say Barrier. Yeah, more Barrier. Village, then. Let's have you... I saw an army around here. I thought I did during the end turn. There's like one of the armies monitoring around here. Don't know where they went. Um, but let's just make my way over here. Make my way over. Uh, they're right there. Okay, so that's the army I was thinking of. So we'll keep making our way over. Try and take uh, Bachai. And then I'll keep making my way into their land. Because they only have, like, what, eight regions, was it? They've got seven right now. Seven regions right now, and I'm going to make sure that I vassalize you. I will forcibly vassalize you guys once I get a chance. Let's keep upgrading my spells for you. And then, research-wise, um, now we want to have it so... Um, Let's see, the one I want... Capacity, seven from both. I, I would be able to like having that. It is points for alliances and vassalization for Zinch. Um, took my relations with Zinch factions for each active gift of Zinch. That would not be bad. Uh, it's plus one authority for each active gift of Zinch. Let's go with that one, because that will make it so that um, Village's army is a little bit happier and a bit better off. I don't need this one. But I'll probably have it it's like, boom, boom, boom. Because basically I just don't want this. I, I don't care about that. Um, so let's go with that. Building-wise, you guys are fine. Kolek now. Let's get you back over here. So, just ignore that army for right now. They're going to keep taking attrition at least, so we're not going to worry about them. Let's just take the Floating Mountain back. Uh, this one I do want. Because this actually has a material on it, so we will keep that. Keep upgrading the buildings here. Kolek, again, let's keep double-checking every once in a while. I just want to make sure and see if there is anything around there. And then, uh, you guys here... So it was a commandment for this region again. So just get the Chaos uh, Corruption there. 
Alrighty, Archeon has arrived. There we go. So Archeon has arrived now. Yes. Let's have you go into uh, normal stance, I would say. Or, no, yeah, do, do, do force march stance. So we'll start making our way over this way. So we now need to see. So Nagron's where I'm going to be hitting immediately. Uh, that is nowhere near us, so that's okay. So that doesn't bother us at all. Wait, now Archeon, you just dropped off. So I do want to see. So I am not opposed. I'm, I'm going to vassalize all of the Dark Elves. So right now, easiest one to do will be you guys, but you're not nowhere near us. Calibron. So you've got quite a bit of what? land. What about Nagron? Nagron's got 11. <laughs> So you've got 11 regions right now. I don't see... Uh, Valkia better not be dead. Let's see. So I see you're at war with the Decadent Host. That's... That's at least been Sigvald. Did they Speak kill her? Blood Queen. Shadow Legion. That's Bellacor. Noble. Kane's bride. I think... Oh, they might have killed her. I think there might be a way for me to get More Valkia happy. back, though. Yes. Yeah, I think you guys killed her. Because the Dark Elves are really strong over here right now. Okay, back over to Sun Eater. Sun Eater needs to keep just trying to reclaim all of my lands right around here. So you keep making your way over there. My hero, you need to start trying to... Let's see, so the action you can do is block army. That doesn't matter for you right there. Um... To the city. I can do steel technology though. That will increase our research rate if we can succeed. Sadly, no. Um, but let's have us do this. So you've got pretty small army and then 10 guys here. Yeah, we can fight this. They're gonna run. Are you gonna be outside the range of the city? You are. Okay. So with them being outside the range of the city, I can very easily just walk on in, take this. So occupy it. And then I'll deal with you guys next turn after I've gotten a little bit more experience and regenerate or replenishment. Um, you need to get Blade Shield. Or actually, I should get, uh, again, we're going up against a lot of Dark Elves, so get some more Missile Resistance right there. Building-wise, think I'm fine. Uh, hello, Nakai. I was wondering when this was gonna happen. I'm actually surprised you're still alive. Usually you always get your ass kicked over in, uh, Cathay right now, but I guess with me fucking things up, that may gives you a chance to survive right now, but I should be able to ideally keep pushing on into him after I'm done with Loki or Falheart. Because right now, at least, look here, Felhart, we almost have him at the point where I can now forcibly vassalize him. Like, he's got a couple cities, but we weakened him enough that I think uh, Village shouldn't have too many issues with him. As long as he doesn't spawn an army with, like, just all shades or anything. That's the only thing I could see being an issue right now for Village's army. Um, and then, let's see, so the eye is opened once again. So, let's see, so what do we have here for this time? So, we've got... Um, or punishment for all my armies. That would not be bad for a bit. Also healing cap for a time. Um, that will last for five turns. And it's just all units. Um, Dark Dominion. I, I'm personally going with my legions. Let's go with my legions right now. Let's boost you guys up. Especially because Nakai is right fucking here. Oh, hello, Nakai. Um, okay. But so my army is ready right here. I'm almost pretty much fully replenished right now at this point in time. Um, Nakai, are you going to fight me? No, you're going to run. Ooh. Okay, then. Oh, he's running really far. Holy shit. Okay. Um, let's finish him off, though. Mouse power-wise is pretty even. I kind of want to fight this myself. I'd say just going to give uh, Village a little bit more time to shine in the spotlight. Also, a good chunk of these guys are pretty beat up right now. So we can ideally just beat these guys back pretty nicely. And then keep making my way over to deal with um, Loki or Felhart. Uh, basically, so for this army right now, they've got two... Okay, so they've got two actual dragons. Bit of a choke point here. Ooh. Could I convince you guys to walk into said choke point? <laughs> I'd love if you guys do, because that'd be perfect. Basically, I know what we'll be doing is I'll have it so my... Gosh, I probably should have had some of you guys actually be turned into halberd variants before we did this fight. I know you guys aren't large variants, but I know technically uh, the dinosaurs would be, and that'd be really easy to try and f focus them down if we had you guys as halberds. So what's, what we'll do, though, is uh, Village, my hero, and my aspiring champions group you guys up. Uh, I'm going to have it so you guys are going to be pushing on in kind of as a vanguard, and then I need to have it so that you are going to stay behind, uh, you being your own little group. But then all of my infantry group up, pink horrors group up, cav group up, and we want to have all my cav in their own little groups. So at the moment, Nikai's over here with some of his Soros warriors. He's kind of spread all out. 
We've got the flyers and some of the dinosaurs over here. I'm gonna put, this is what we're gonna do. So I'll say village and company. Let's put you guys over here. Because they've got the uh, one of the stegodons. I can have some of my cav help out over around here as well. I'll have my sorcerer. You guys all kind of help out over here. Flamers. I'm going to try and have it so ideally. Like all of you guys try and harass the right side. You guys can try and just harass them over here because they have like one skirmisher. Yeah, like one. So let's have you guys kind of make your way over here. Make sure you put skirmish mode on. So kind of get up on in range there. You guys try and push forward. Same with you guys. Oh no, you had your shot of lightning. I just love having access to the barrier. So let's have you guys keep making your way up here. It does look like they're kind of trying to go for the central point. So you guys go there. Let's have you guys kind of push on in this way. Doom Knights go straight for the pterodactyls. And then my normal Chaos Knights can kind of provide some support. Uh, you guys don't have barrier right now, and they just wasted a comet on you. Ouch. Try and get some shots in there. Don't be... Don't get killed, please. I need to make sure you guys stay alive, but just try and at least get some experience for yourselves by just unloading into the units. Actually, try and focus down the, uh... That's their hero, I believe, right there. So try and focus him down. Flamers. Let's get you guys to kind of get a little bit closer here. Because it looks like they might try and focus the spot in a second. I love how my Doom Knights, you absolutely slaughter these Pterodactyls. Yeah, no, keep chasing them. You can easily finish those guys off for us. Now, I do need to remember that these Doom Knights specifically actually have like a Bombard spell attached to them, a Bound one at least. So we can try and have you guys try and just bomb these guys as soon as they engage my infantry. Which we've got, uh, my guy in the Chariot ran up first. Careful there, man. Let's have it so, yeah, Village is just about to get here. Let's have you do some casting. And then, let's see, so this is, uh, don't specifically help it too much, but just give him those boosts. You guys here, let's get you just kind of flying overhead on top of these guys, and then try and bomb them, because at the moment, at least, it looks like they're not making their way through here. They are kind of over here, but you guys are just trying to kite them, so that's not too much of an issue. I mean, these guys can move up a little bit more, try and go right there. Uh, let's see, Doom Knights. Oh, I just missed you. Go back over. Because right there, bomb and run on top of these guys. A lot of damage. Look at that. Beautiful. Uh, go hit these skirmishers. You guys can do some good damage against them. They are not advancing across here just yet. Uh, they do have some of those Soros Warriors are making their way over here. So you guys try and turn your attention there. One of my Marauders try and distract them for us. You guys are being shot at by the Stegodon there. Let's have my Chaos Warriors push on forward here a little bit more. You guys go up. Pink Horrors try and get up a little bit closer. And then my other Flamer. Uh, I might actually have you try and help out over here. Because right now, they're trying their best to do what they can to us. You guys are winning that fight though. And at least you guys have regen, so it's not too bad there. Okay, left side is almost falling over here now. Doom Knights and everybody else are just about done with them. I can have you guys now start trying to make your way. Since I have you all kind of make your way around here to start trying to flank the best you can. Pink Horrors and my Flamers, you should be unloading into these guys. Still kind of hate that I don't have my best uh, AoE spells right now, at least for right now. So just keep passing the blue fire in there. Uh, also, definitely try and cast this um, the blue fire. Uh, start pink fire onto the units. Blue fire into this guy, because we want to try and see if we can take you out, as you're one of the Stegodons. Let's see, let's try and get my cab, kind of get ready to flank. Probably bring you guys to do another bombing run on top of them if we can. It's like right there will be perfect. Flamers, don't have the best angle right now. You guys are still alive. Keep trying to finish off that Soros Warrior, because he's almost dead. There we go, rain down some more death, and then as soon as you're done with that, charge on in. And I think that should be almost it for them now. Uh, Village and my Aspiring Champions are almost here to finish off you, trying to surround you. Cav, at least, let's try and charge you in on the backside here. Nikai is still going, going strong, but he and the last Feral uh, Bastilladon are almost dead at this point now. Although, man, you guys are doing some good damage to my Doom Knights. Ooh, be careful there, guys. Definitely be careful there. Just look at the absolute ridiculous amounts of fire that are required to try and finish off Nikai. Try and see if you can also get some of the blue fire to hit him as well. Because he's almost dead. There we go. And as soon as he dies, they just all give up. Just need that one little oomph there. 
took way more damage than I would have liked here, but that's fine. This is kind of the rule of cool rules all right now here, where I just want to try and get a bit more uh, showcases for Village here and his army, because I always love... The Zinch armies are always so fun to, like, just look at. The battles they have are so aesthetically pleasing, and it's beautiful. But uh, you guys here, yeah, these Doom Knights, I love those. I'm going to say my other Doom Knights don't have that drop, uh, that bombing run ability as well. But hey, uh, I do like the Doom Knights. They're kind of a fun unit to have. You guys are still trying to work on more experience here. Main units that took the most damage were my infantry, obviously. They had some okay support in the center. I kind of probably should have maybe kept Village over near my central line. Because I don't have the uh, AoE spells I want just yet on my caster. Not the good ones, at least, for the uh, Zinch spells. Let's have you guys get some more replenishment, because we took a bit more damage than I would have liked right there. But, that should not be that bad. Now you have more melee defense and bonus versus large, which is great. But, let's have you uh, keep making your way over to Chamai. You should be able to get over there relatively easily. Pretty much your army will be fully uh, replenished by then. And then we can keep just trying to basically ignore you guys, and just focus on... Um, the uh, on oh my god on Felhart and try and make sure that he is going to be my vassal because once he's my vassal we got some beautiful village here. Let's have you get unholy resistance. I want to keep upgrading your blue line for right now. Your hero, get more blade shield, caster. I can finally get infernal gateway, so we can start trying to get some of the really good AOE spells for Zinch. Archaeon here, still trying to figure out what's going on around with you guys because at the moment. I know we're going to be hitting Nagarond right now, and I'm just curious to see. I honestly think you guys probably killed off Valkia. I don't, because if I look at all these... Not, you don't matter. Um, trying to look up here. Yeah, it looks like you guys have completely conquered this area. I'm, I'm pretty sure, though, technically, I should be able to liberate and get Valkia back. Um, I just need to go to the area that was once under her control, and then once I take it, I should be able to somehow liberate her and uh, return her to the world. That's my hope, at least, because I think I should be able to do that. Let's have you try and uh, block this army. Unless wound is better. No, block the army there, because I want to try and slow you guys from moving on up this area until I'm ready to push back at you with village. Um, rank ups, you need to keep focusing on specialist. I want you to be an actual agent. Going back over here, then... So, I know... Let's see. So, Boris is just chilling there. And I hate that I don't have enough movement to hit that damn city. Um, I could actually turn some of you guys into cast warriors. I think I'm going to. I'm not going to probably, like, keep you guys. I'll probably have it so, like, basically we'll put you into somebody else's army at some point. But grab them. Like, why not? It's, like, but there's no reason to just leave them as basic marauders. Because I actually have a decent amount of money right now. But we can try and have it. So, Kolek, since he's right there, um, how much would I get from I don't even know if it's worth it. No. It's not. Just make your way forward. Try and get on up this way. And we'll be dealing with Boris next turn. Ah, never mind. It looks like Boris is going to be selling out around here. Man, you really have a bone to pick with uh, Kolek here. Let's fight this. Uh, it says Pyrrhic Victory. What kind of terrain do we have here? Because um, if I take the outer resolve, I lose literally fucking everything. And I'm not losing literally fucking everything. Because for the most part, again, all the cav doesn't really matter. Yeah, Cav doesn't really matter all that much. And this is a slightly weaker army than before. They do have the Streltsy, though. They have more Streltsy than they did before. So, that will be a bit of an issue. But I know all the Cavalry is not going to be a problem at all. And I do at least have some more units now to help out with the anti large So I've got the Chaos Warrior Halberds. They can try and help out a little bit more. Ideally, I would love if we could try and have it so that we... Like, I don't know if we can do enough damage before the entire enemy army reinforcements get here. But... I'll have Kolek rush on in immediately, have you try and deal with Boris, and then I can try and have it so that my Manticores, again, you need to try and focus on the Streltsy, try and get them to be focused down first and foremost. So have so Kolek in your own group, Ron's in your own group, you guys in a group, and then uh, I'll have it so that you guys are in your own group again as well. Kolek right about here, Chaos Marauders behind them, Trolls along with them. Actually, I'll put you guys in just one group. So one group, you'll be wanting to push forward. And then I'll have uh, Manticores over here, some of the Dragon Ogres on the left side, some of the Dragon Ogres on the right side, and then let's start the battle. Start pushing you guys forward. So what we want to do is, let's see, so I see some Horse Archers here. I don't really care what you guys have to say about us. So just charge on in here. You guys can easily go get rid of them, same with you. 
The Manticores, let's say you guys kind of fly back around. Looks like they are going to be waiting for the reinforcements. Armored Kosars are over there. You Dragon Overs keep trying to get around the side. Does look like they will be able to have all the reinforcements before I get over to them. Cola here just, yeah, absolutely slaughter these Horse Archers. Marauders and everybody join on in too. Yeah, you guys are the bonus versus large you have here. Like, without his um, War Bears... These armies are a lot easier to deal with, especially with all the cav they have. Like, hey, sure, they have some of their winged lancers and stuff, but those guys against some of my dragon ogres will get absolutely destroyed, like these cav units are right now. And they're now trying to unload uh, on me with some of their armored units here. Get on in here, my dragon ogres. As long as you guys push on in here into these guys, we can do some pretty good damage. Trying to make their way over here. Uh, I do see, let's see, that's the streltsy right there. Manticores, get back over here. One of you to each. Eh. One to each, and then all of you guys can keep trying to push on in here. Let's get those proper orders now. You guys try and hit those armored corsars. Kolek, you need to try and make your way on into the forest. I do see a rather nice big blob, although they're trying to pull away there. So just ignore them. Uh, good amount of damage, though, is being dealt to my guys here. I do need to try and distract you guys if I can. So try and ignore the armored corsars. Go for Streltsy, more so, if anything. So right there, right there. These guys are being hit by some of my uh, dragon ogres. So push on in there. Kolek, make sure you focus on Boris. And then let's have you... You do have barely enough range to go hit these guys. Try and hit them with that ability, because they keep unloading into my Dragon Ogres, doing way too much damage. There you go. Yeah, good damage right there. These guys are losing this fight. So as soon as they're done, they can start trying to bring their forces back around. He's trying his best, but Boris has now fallen once again. So Kolek shall hopefully be able to reign supreme now here. I uh, do have a really nice blob here to use my bound spell on. So keep trying to do that. Need to now have it so you guys just keep trying to push on through here. Guys on the right side are taking a bit of damage because I haven't been able to push on in straight into these skirmishers of theirs yet. Streltsy are slowly dying. Trying to have it so that what you guys can do. You need to keep trying to push in on this left side here. Try and focus on the Corsairs. Because they don't have a lot of armor piercing, but they can do a lot of damage. And they are slowly but surely doing damage to us. Honestly, I think our regen is the main reason why this is actually going amazingly well right now. Because Kolek still trying to push on through all this cavalry. I've got my guys still kind of stuck around here, taking a lot of damage. Same thing going on with you guys over here. But, you have barely lost any uh, models just yet. You're still pushing on in. And if we can just get them to push through here and get more into some of these skirmishers, like I'm trying to do with like the trolls. You guys are now trying to go around and flank them so you can hit the skirmishers. Like, we are slowly but surely winning this fight. Finally, a bit of a break. Holy shit. Um, I am barely holding on by a thread's edge here. By a thread here. Where, at the moment, so many of my guys are taking a lot of damage. Primarily from all the range units. Lords are now starting to die. Starting to push on in here. And now gain some ground. Us having that regen and it be increasing our healing cap right now, too, is amazing. And that is the only reason, I think, why I'm actually holding here. Because you guys, yep, there we go. They just hit their ability to have it so that they're all now going to start breaking eventually. And I'm going to be able to get some more regen here because of this. Because it's going to take a little bit longer for them to die. But nah, yeah. We are able to now beat back uh, Boris once again here. I'd love to be able to try and have you guys see if you can try and maybe run some more guys down. Because there's a lot of you that survived. There we go. It's our Beric victory. But I think that's worth it, given the fact that we were able to beat back and destroy, let's see, how many? Uh, about a little over 2,000. Yeah, a little over 2,000 guys. I didn't lose a single model. And for the most, a well, single unit, actually. So the Manticores will survive, took a bit of damage, but they'll survive. Almost every single one of the Dragon Overs basically didn't lose anything. I, I lost barely any models for those. Kolik took quite a bit of damage himself, though. He also dealt out quite a bit. So, we'll not be able to just walk straight on into these cities after this. Keep the pressure on Boris. Now that he's able to deal with two of his armies, Kolek is doing wonderfully over here. He'll be able to push on in. And hopefully, again, now that we realize that, like, Valky is more than likely dead, I'm hoping everybody else is fine. Like, hopefully Festus is still doing fine. Hopefully um, Azazel is also doing fine. I'm a little worried that they might not be. Uh, let's grab that replenishment right there so that we can kind of push on in a little bit easier next turn. Okay, yes, yeah, so let's go over back there first. So let's see, so you guys are not there. Uh, back over here. There we go. So, right here, Kolek. Took a little bit of damage, and I was taking some attrition during the end turn. Nobody dies from us pushing in here, though, so that's fine. Push on in. 
Uh, this area does have a material, so I will want to control it myself. Go. We'll be able to get that replenishment. As I think they did the, uh, yeah, they did. They enacted the thing that makes it so that I take attrition if I'm in their lands. That's fine. Kolik here. I can now finally give you some more physical resistance through your demonic trait. Grab that. And then I would say... Actually, especially with this stuff, gives me more punishment and makes it so it'll take less attrition from that. Perfect. So you can try and do that. And then, are there any more dragon ogres? Nope. I just want to keep checking that occasionally. Um, so now, once you're done with that, we'll be having you continue pushing your way on in. You can keep pushing now that you've beaten him twice at this point. I would assume you should be able to have a pretty easy time against Boris. Um, let's keep getting the research. So we want to try and get um, the pink horrors one first. Grab that. This would be next after that. Then we can get the uh, tuning ritual uh, to finish it off. Um, otherwise, heroes, let's see. So you still trying to keep you as an agent. Uh, let's see if you keep trying to delay this army. Um, let's see. Did you succeed? No, you did not. Okay. Uh, village here. Let's see. So this little army here. Uh, that's not that bad. I think I'm just going to actually, like, let's have you auto-resolve this force first. Try and see if you can kill them off. They ran back away in the direction I want to go. Perfect. So we can have it so we'll get another turn of replenishment. Finish you guys off next turn if possible. Then keep making my way over to Chamai. And then um, you need to keep upgrading yourself as a hero again. And then other than that right now, let's see. So going back over, because I pretty much am pretty sure that yes, I do. So we do have this fight ready here. I am going to hold off on this, though. I will save this for the next video. So we'll start the next video off with this fight right here, where we'll have it so that we finally bring down Nagaron to its knees. And I think for the most part, all this land around here, I'll just start burning it first and foremost. Because I need to try and get Valkia back. So we'll just burn everything around here. No need to try and hold it. Then once we have Valkia back, then we can start trying to actually claim all the, like, dark fortresses and other uh, resources around this area that I actually want. So I'm going to be done for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments down below. I love hearing you guys have to say about this campaign and your thoughts to have on in general. This is Rampan. I'll see you guys next time.